Hey everybody, welcome back to Ozzy's Oddities. You know, we're going to quit gardening. This is going to be my last year, but I always raise sweet corn. And this year, I, seeing how it's going to be the last year I'm going to do this, I want to show you how I make corn pudding. And what it is, is a sweet corn ear. It's too mature to eat off the cob. You could freeze it, but the kernels would be tough. You know, it's it's pretty much coon feed. But anyway, I go out and pick it. And what you do is each kernel, the meat, the heart of the kernel, the germ, you want that out of the kernel, but you want to leave the skin of the kernel on the cob. So what I did was, but I thought, you know, that's, and I watched my mother and my sister do this, my wife do this, and they did it, and it was so hard for them, and they worked on it forever. I decided I can come up with a machine that would strip this off and do a better and faster job than they could do by hand. So I came up with this oak board right off the farm, and I cut a hole in it, a receiving hole for the corn. I put a stripper bar on there, and I put a series of little knives in here that would slide down the kernel, the row of the kernels, and just slip that kernel all the way from the tip all the way to the butt of the ear, and that would open it up. Then, as the ear passed over those knives and hit the stripper bar, it would take it all off, take the corn, empty the kernel. I put a knife, a set of knives, actually all the set of knives are some hacksaw blades that I bent, and uh, I filed sharp and I put a series of them in there, trying hoping I had the spacing right for the rows of corn. And then the stripper bar is just bolted on from the back. I put it on the pan. And when you do it by hand with a knife, it takes just about forever to get a pan full. But by this method, I can do over five gallons an hour. The hardest part is, is picking the, the corn and husking it and getting all the silk off. But I want to show you how this would watch when I slide this over. It just strips it right out. And all the best part, and there's always juice in that that corn. And if you've ever had scallop corn and anyway, the Native Americans call it corn pudding, but I call it good. So this is how it's done. Pretty simple recipe, really. The addition of milk and eggs and saltine crackers. And adding a little butter on the top of the casserole dish. A couple of corn. Pretty good eating for the holidays. There's a lot of meat in one ear of corn. I'm going to show you this as soon as I get this ear empty. If you run it, run it over a couple times. There, that's hog feed. There's my stripper bar. Now look at look what I got off that ear of corn. That's the center of the kernel. There's milk in there. And oh, it's wonderful. We do it outside because it's kind of a sticky if you miss. I, Richard is very rewarding. I cut a little groove in here, just a small groove for the ear of corn to slide in over those knives. And those knives are shaped uh, on a half moon shape. So it fits the ear contour of the ear of corn. That's a little much of a corn crop back there. It's this way you get to utilize your whole crop. If you don't get to eat it all, pick it fast enough, you think it's going to waste. It's not going to waste if you do this. But you got to beat the coon. The raccoons like it too. See what I'm getting here? The heart of the kernel. Three things I really enjoy when we're gardening is cutting this corn like this. I like to cut uh, the cabbage in a kraut cutter for making sauerkraut. And 
And I like running tomatoes through the cone to make tomato juice. We do our gardening. We plant our potatoes with a old potato planter. We'll be digging them before long. I can see the vines are starting to dry now. And that's what you get. The end of the sweet corn patch. Stuff that you got too hard to eat. There's the cutter. And look at this. Here's a wood spoon that I made out of oak. Look at all this green corn. It's done a lot of work already for us. That one's probably been used for tomatoes. Discolored. That's a lot of cream corn. There you are. And that's how we make cream corn here on Ozzy's Oddities. We'll try anything once if we can't figure it out. Like we'll, like we'll try it, we'll something it. else. <laughs> if we like it, we'll do it many times. You all come back now, you hear?